like so. Okay. Now, <coughs> excuse me. There's one more case. There's one more case. I've got um, obtuse versus acute. We're satisfied with that. I've got a big acute and a little acute. I'm okay with that. There's one other case I need to worry about. Where else could I put Z that might give me a different kind of case? Yeah, down here. Right, so let's think about this one. I need one last color. I think about a point like this. Hmm. Where's my argument going to be for this? There's going to be... Now, this is tricky, right? Because arguments are tricky. Arguments are, like, they're not unique, remember? That's why we talk about a principal argument. So if I draw this line, here's one of them. That's the argument measured from I. And then I've got... This line over here, I've got two ways that I can write this, or I can draw this argument, right? I can either have the reflex, like so, or I can take the principal argument, which will be negative, like so. Those are both fine, right? Okay, now, again, I'm going to ask the question, which one is bigger? Which one is bigger? The little, the choose one. Now, we can think about this in two ways. Let's think about it uh, for each case based on which angle you take. Okay? You either have a reflex angle, take away an obtuse angle. Reflex, take away obtuse. Which one's going to be bigger? Clearly, the reflex angle is bigger. Like, by definition, a reflex is above pi, and the obtuse angle is below pi. You okay with that? So that's all right. What if I take the other side? <coughs> this is a negative angle. You get right? the same answer. I'm going to get the same answer. Why is that? Because you go around again. What's the difference between reflex angle here and negative obtuse angle here? What's the difference? You get, well, the, if you use the negative um, obtuse angle, you get um, a result that's 360 degrees bigger. Okay, so the difference, the difference between these two angles is two pi radians. Do you agree with that? Like, otherwise I'm not going to get the actual same argument. But if I have, <coughs> excuse me, an angle that is, like, let's actually put a number on this, shall we? Um, Pi is like 3.14, okay? So a reflex angle that would that looks like that might be something like, I don't know, 3.5? Are you okay with that? I'm just going to make that up. 3.5 radians, that's a reflex angle, okay? What would be the corresponding negative obtuse angle that would give me the same thing? Um, 1.7. Negative... Two. Well, remember, they're, diff they're off by 2 pi. Do you remember that? They're off by 2 pi. 2 pi is about 6.28. So let's call it 6.3. So that means this is going to be something like... 2.8? Yeah, that'll do it. Like, I'm, I'm just approximating. Yeah. Okay, now think about this, right? This is so negative. Remember, it's this angle, take away that angle, not the other way around, right? Because subtraction is not commutative, right? This angle is so negative that when you subtract this one, you're going to whip around and be this minus 2 pi. Do you agree with that? Like, it's a super negative angle take away another obtuse angle, right? So it's going to be really, really negative. It's going to be so negative, you're going to blow past minus 3.14, okay? So therefore, you come back around and you'll end up with pi on 4. So it works. Every case we can come up with, it works, okay? But let's think about what happens if you tried the other arc, this other major arc down the bottom, right? So if I draw it like so, pick a point for me, right? Let's pick an easy one like here. Let's call this Z instead. If I've got this angle and this angle, right? Where are the arguments that I'm measuring? <coughs> Excuse me. So here is, here is, arg of z take away 3 plus 2i. <coughs> There's that one. And then here is the other one. Now when you subtract this one, take away this, what's going to happen? Look, you've got an obtuse angle that's negative and an acute angle that's also negative, right? You're not going to get pi on 4, are you? Right? You're going to get an, another negative obtuse angle, okay? So all of the cases down here, they don't work. You can try them out. You do case by case. And when you subtract, you will not get pi on 4. In fact, you'll get minus pi on 4, okay? So if that's the case, if that's the angle I'm actually going to get, how would I change the equation, like the very first thing I wrote, if you wanted me to draw this bottom arc, how would I change it? Wait, do we want both arcs? If I, if I wanted both arcs, I'd have an absolute value. If you had a pension for pain, okay? But if I just want the bottom arc, right? If I just want the bottom arc, I want it to be minus pi on 4. It's a bit awkward, so let me just write it with the minus sign on the other side. So you kind of can write it with the minus sign on the other side. Like this. It'll flip around these two arguments. Do you agree with that? 
Oops. Oh. Equals pi over 4. Do you see I've just popped the minus sign over here, which would in turn mean I just take the reciprocal, right? I'm subtracting them in a different order, and that will give me the bottom mark. Does that make sense? Okay, so, like I said, you can't work out the equation of this just yet, but that's all right. You know enough to draw this thing, and you can make it so that that's approximately pi over 4. You know you're going to get a bigger arc. And the smaller the angle is, do you remember when I asked you to get a really small angle? I asked you to give me like 10 degrees or something like that, which is pi on, come on, you guys can tell me what 10 degrees is. 18. It's pi on 18, right? You get this enormous circle out here, right? So the smaller this angle is, the bigger your arc will be. Okay? So, yeah. Um, if you were, um, say hypothetically, you're going to have a green, like you have um, arc z minus y. Yeah. So Sorry. is that like that really small one, or is it the really big one? That, so it's going to be this one here. It's going to be that one there. Well, it's still sub. Oh wait, yeah. It, the reason why I know. So are you comparing it to this one? Yeah. You comparing it to that one? Yeah. Yeah. So the reason I know is the point I just said, right? If there's a small angle in here, this is a cube. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have a big arc. It's going to draw out a big arc. Okay. And the reason why is because the smaller that angle is. Like, the further you have to stand away in order for these to be close to each other, in order for there to be a small difference, okay? If I did want this red arc now, okay, too many arcs, I promise I won't draw anymore. <laughs> How am I going to change that? How am I going to change the equation of the locus? I need a big angle, don't I? Right? In fact, for this one, come on, think about it, think about it. What circle properties can you take advantage of? It's going to be 3 pi and 4. Do you know why 3 pi and 4? Because, because, all right, here's, here's one angle, that was pi on 4. If I want this angle here, well, they're the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral, which are supplementary, uh, right? So this angle plus this angle should be pi. If that's pi on 4, then this is going to be 3 pi on 4, okay? 